Software Linux on the uh, Dell PC. And this is a, uh, let's see what this is. Oh, it's kind of hard to see it. Optiplex GX300. Just got 256 meg of RAM. And I'm trying to see what I did with that Slackware DVD. I'm not sure where I put it, but I used the Windows computer in the other room to burn a DVD. I used Info Recorder, which I downloaded to burn the image onto a erasable DVD or a rewritable DVD. And then I just went ahead and uh, loaded it up on here and just uh, got rid of Ubuntu. So now let me go ahead and go to the I'm go to the manual mode here, and we'll reboot it. I'll need to uh, I need to do SU. So it'll let me reboot it. I got, I'm logged in as Christopher now, so I just need to go to root. And I have to put the password in here. I'll put the password in and then come back here in a moment. So now I've got the root account open. And one thing about Ubuntu, it don't like to let you have access to the root account. It tries to camouflage it, but this really lets you use it. So we're going to reboot it. Of course, you've got to reboot it from the root user, not a, not a lower level user. The system is going down for reboot now. Let's see how long it takes to reboot here. It shouldn't take too long. And we can see what... Uh, what it looks like when Slackware comes back up. And this is a little bit different than the old Lilo uh, loader. It's got a graphic there for Slackware Linux, and so the only thing we got on here, of course, is Linux. So we'll just hit enter to boot it up. And I think this boots up even quicker than the old Slackware used to. I'm going to turn the, turn the light off here. And the thing I like about Slackware is it boots directly to the command line because I really like using the command line and I'll even use it without even the X window system at all and just log in right like this. But it uh, really, really doesn't take too long to load up so it should be ready to log in just momentarily. So. I named the uh, name the server music, so I'm going to log in here, and then we can check out how the X window system works. Okay, Christopher is now logged in, so I can do start X, and I've got KDE uh, used as the uh, X window system. It offers some other ones too, you know, KDE 3.5. And let's see here. The way that, yeah, this is just a tips thing. We'll go ahead and check out the YouTube performance. I guess it plays a little tune as it boots up. I guess kind of like Windows does. But let's go down here, and uh, we're going to use Firefox. The Firefox performance on this is excellent. It's so is so much better than Ubuntu was. Ubuntu would crash, or if you had stuff that had flash in it, it would cause uh, cause Firefox to shut down. So here we go. There's Firefox. Let's see if we can get a better uh, get a better focus on it here. There we go. And we'll check out the YouTube performance. Let's see here. Let's go to. I don't have it in the favorites. I'll just put it in here. The 
but this thing only has 256 megs of RAM on it, and the YouTube performance is just excellent. We'll demonstrate it here with a video. And I've also got the Zenith stereo receiver hooked up to it. And I've got it hooked up to the Duquesne speakers. And I made another video about the stereo receiver repair. I'll have to upload it as well. Um, let's see here. I guess we'll need to go to RetroChad. I'm going to go to... There's RetroChad. And let's get some... Let's get a video that has some music on it. Let's try Ghostbusters. And we'll just see how the video performance is on it. Yeah, it's not loading up too slowly. Uh, let's see here. We'll go ahead and go to we'll go to high quality video. I can find it here. There we go. We'll just see how it does. Now the only thing it kind of can have trouble with is sometimes HQ video playback, but it ain't too bad. And it's got good bass, you can hear.